Shadow here, everyone. Today we're going to be working on the unhandled lockdown error, negative 20, when you attempt to connect an iPhone to a Linux version. Specifically, this version is Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. Uh, the kernel version is 3.13.0-35. This is a generic build on an x86 version. Uh, the hardware iPhone 5S version 7.1.2. The problem is when you connect the iPhone to the Ubuntu version, it will send you an error, unhandled lockdown, negative 20. So you're unable to get your photos and whatnot from your uh, iPhone, which is a real pain in the ass. So I figured out a workaround for this, and to my knowledge, there's not a fix on the internet anywhere. So the first thing that you find out when you go search on the internet is to unplug your iPhone and uh, get the live mobile device utilities and iFuse packages uh, that sudo apt-get install live iMobile device-utils iFuse and then you have to run the iDevice pair and unpair but this doesn't work unfortunately I I've tried this uh, I'm simply trying to recreate the uh, scenario so I've installed these things and you can search for those but I don't really think it matters um, the first thing we want to make sure that we do is have a password or a passcode set on your iPhone. So when you turn it on, you have to enter a, a passcode to use the phone. I simply put in a four-digit code. I don't think that that matters. Okay. So the first thing that we do to go work around this error here is we plug our iPhone in and we make sure that we get that error. You get unhandled lockdown error, minus 20. Um, then we can simply unplug the iPhone. And you can run those commands when you search online, but that's not going to do any good. Okay? So, what we want to do is, the first thing, we'll plug our iPhone in, we'll get that error, okay? We leave that error open on the screen where it has unhandled error, and we have to make sure that our iPhone's not on. We have to make sure that we have a black screen, nothing's on. So then we turn on our iPhone, okay? We slide to unlock it, and this is where you're going to enter your password. So you go ahead and you enter your password. Okay. Once you enter your password, uh, on your Linux machine you can go to Places, go to your home folder. On your left-hand navigation side, you'll see your, the name of your iPhone there. And if you try to click on it, you're still going to get another error, which it can open or whatnot. So here's the secret. While that's open, unplug your iPhone. Okay. So you're going to leave that open. There. You're not going to unmount anything. It'll give you an error about mounting or whatnot. So just unplug your iPhone without on the screen and turn the power off, okay? Now what you want to do is close out all your screens, plug your iPhone back in, slide to unlock it, and type the password. So you're going to type your password right then, okay? Then you're going to go back to your places menu on your navigation bar under your Linux machine here. Um, I'm using a specific window manager, it doesn't really need it. Then you click on the iPhone there and it might give you a negative free error or whatnot. Leave that on the screen, Slide to unlock your iPhone, type in your password again. Once you click on once you do that, your iPhone will then be mounted. So you completely bypass that whole security feature. So this will allow you to access your uh, photos or whatnot because generally it will only mount your documents. So this will allow you to access that. To my knowledge, like I said, there's no fix for this on the internet that I was able to find. This is just a simple workaround. And consequently, when you do this, you'll notice that if you turn your iPhone back on and back off, you no longer have to enter the password. So this is a, this is a bypass also uh, to get around the lock code on your iPhone. Uh, for some reason, the hooks on the Linux machine, when you leave those windows open, will solve this issue. So this is Shadow saying, uh, enjoy the fix. Hope it works out.